Live, direct from locations at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and the ILS Anchor Desk in Cape Canaveral, Florida, coverage of the Russian Proton rocket launch of the AMC-12 communications satellite for SES Americom. And welcome to the live launch broadcast of an International Launch Services Proton rocket, which will carry the AMC-12 communications satellite into orbit. I'm Jennifer Hodges reporting live from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Not only is this the first ILS launch of the year, but we have something else very exciting and unusual in the launch business happening tonight. Something that is both of ILS's launch vehicles. It involves the Proton and the Atlas rockets. They are both scheduled for missions tonight just hours apart. ILS, as you may know, is the only launch company that can boast such an accomplishment, having two independent vehicles launching from space centers on two continents. T-minus 20 seconds, all systems continue, go for launch. T-minus 15. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Ignition sequence start. Liftoff. We have liftoff of a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, carrying the AMC-12 spacecraft. This is the first leg of a mission to bring a wide range of first-stage engines. From TV first broadcasting to high-speed internet connections, from customers rush. from the U.S. to the eastern reaches of the Mediterranean, we have lift off. and from Cape Town, South Africa, to Lima, Peru. Pressure in the engine combustion chambers is within expected values. Roll program is complete. The vehicle is... 30 seconds. The flight is proceeding as expected. Flight direction is now lined up with the proper flight azimuth. 40 seconds. Flight status looks good. Control system parameters are nominal. At 70 seconds, we'll be coming up on maximum dynamic seconds. pressure. Launch vehicle operation is stable. 60 seconds. Launch vehicle stabilization is nominal. 70 seconds, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the moment of the maximum aerodynamic loads on the vehicle uh, when the vehicle seconds. undergoes its Flight greatest stress. Continues to look good. Everything Control continues to look good. Parameters are nominal. 80 seconds. Launch vehicle engine operation is stable. Right now, the, we're at 90 there. seconds. Pitch, yaw, and roll are within expected values. Right now, we're at an altitude of 21.8 kilometers with a velocity downrange of 800 seconds. 800 44 meters per second. Ten seconds. Data is being received and processed by the launch site's data acquisition and measurement facilities. At 110 seconds, velocity is 1307 meters per second, 33 kilometers altitude. Seconds. We have ignition of the second stage Coming. engines. We have first stage engine cutoff. Now we have confirmation of first we and second stage first separation. Stage separation. All systems the continue to look good for launch. Second stage engines are at nominal thrust at this time. Altitude is 42 kilometers. 40 seconds. Control system performance is nominal. Pressure in the combustion chambers is within expected values. Stabilization Velocity is, is 1857 nominal. meters per second. Altitude is 59 kilometers. 160 seconds. Flight status continues to look good. 
We're now passing the 2,000 meter per second mark at 70 kilometers altitude. 170 seconds. Pressure in the combustion chambers is within expected values. All systems continue to look good. At All engines running normal. Mark, pitch, yaw, and roll are nominal. AMC-12 was built by Alcatel Space in the company's facilities of Toulouse and Cannes in France for the prestigious American operator SES Americom, an SES global company. Alcatel Space, prime contractor for AMC-12, included all the benefits of the complete array of advanced technologies in this satellite. Such technologies are implemented on the Spacebus 4000 platform. Alcatel Space offers increasingly powerful satellites with ever greater flexibility for all types of mission configurations and applications. This capacity is the result of more than 20 years of continual and controlled evolution of the same family of satellites. Flexible, modular, and fully integrated with a central onboard computer, the Spacebus 4000 is designed to accommodate the communication services of tomorrow, such as high-definition TV and broadband multimedia. AMC-12, a strategic addition to U.S. operator WorldSat's fleet, will be positioned at 37.5 degrees west. This orbital location allows it to cover North America, the Caribbean, South America, Europe, and Africa. 24 transponders on AMC-12 have been contracted by SES Astra, which will market this capacity in Africa under the name Astra 4A. 18 transponders have also been booked by Star-1, which will market this capacity in Latin America under the name Star-1 C-12. The substantial capacity of the satellite, enabling simultaneous operation of 72 C-band channels, will provide reliable, cost-efficient communication solutions for a variety of users, including broadcasters, cable programmers, internet service providers, government agencies, educational institutions, carriers, and private networks. AMC-12 is the fourth satellite delivered by Alcatel Space to SES Global. The fifth, WorldSat-3, is under construction for a launch by the end of the year. The men and women of Alcatel Space are proud to be serving such prestigious and exacting customers as SES America, leader in DTH broadcasting satellite facilities. Alcatel has clearly shown its um, it's keeping up with the technology that we feel is necessary to uh, support future demands in uh, multimedia satellites, and interaction with the customers, both on a technical level, on an engineer-to-engineer -engineer level, and on a business-to-business -business level, I think is essential to both of us.